Hi friends, uh, welcome back to BBA to Z. This video, I'm um, coming back to Elio Fernandez. Um, he asks, uh, is it possible to update a multiple line of text? So the answer is yes. It's uh, pretty simple if you're following along um, other, you know, uh, videos, including this one, which is updating the, you know, um, item in a SharePoint. So in continuation with one of the video I just created right now, I'm just going to do a quick video on how you can uh, use VV to update it. So to do that, I have uh, created uh, um, a field called comments and I have put in like multiple line of text. So if I open this, you see like this and then CC. If I open this, you'll see like there are so many links attached to that, for example. Okay, so it has multiple line of text. So basically, um, this particular code, uh, what it is doing is it's opening, you know, all the items where title is equal to test two, and um, for the rest, I'm just gonna, you know, let you uh, watch on our video to just uh, understand how to update it, okay, from the start. But what you need to keep in mind here is if you want to, for example, if I run this right now, uh, this is test. I'm saying that uh, open the connect, open the record set, and then update the field called comments with this. And then let's say that I want to have a new line. I can do it in this manner. This says, and this is line two, for example. And then I can say this is line three. Okay. So basically I'm saying BV new line is to create a new line. So if I run this right now you'll see that uh, all the you know items with test two is gonna change to this value called this is test and then second line also this is second line two, this is line three for example. So if I run this right now, it's complete. Um let me refresh. So you see like um uh, it has all the one with the test two has changed to there must be some space here somewhere okay that's why it's not updated there's two oh no sorry so if there are multiple items um you have to loop through but for for now uh this is just doing the first one okay so let's say that i have to say like uh uh while not i think that's the one dot rst dot n of file so it's gonna loop true and then I'm saying when I think this is gonna be loop uh, okay when then I'll say rst dot move next so basically this is just going to uh, each of them uh, where the title is equal to test two and then update this okay so I just ran this and a file is true I think I put this in the wrong place yeah. this okay so it's complete so I refresh this so you see all the test to once have changed to this so let's say that you want to uh, have it uh, concatenated with the existing comments then you can see like uh, this this field value and pv new line and so I'm sure you know this, but if you don't know this, this particular underscore is basically to um, bring this the code line down. It has nothing to do with the new line, you know, that is coming here. This is basically whenever the line is too long, you can just have this to have a new line uh, within the code module. Okay, so I'm just gonna run and see if it works. This is complete. So if I refresh this you'll see double of these lines yeah so this is how you can use uh, VB to update your um, SharePoint list items um, you know um, multi multi line uh, data type okay so I hope uh, you're able to work this out for yourself if you are not able to um, make this work please come back to me and I'll try to put in another example or 
shoot an email to me. So please subscribe to our channel and follow us uh, for more upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.